Safety concerns first to 10. We are just months away from the 2024 solar eclipse. The once in a lifetime event will draw thousands to Northeast Arkansas. Good evening. Thanks for being here. I'm Chris Carter. Many people are searching for the perfect spot to view this phenomenon. Emergency management teams are looking through a different lens, though. First responders across the area want to be prepared for the influx of people who will visit our area for just a few minutes of totality. Amani Williams spoke with those people who are making those plans, and Amani, a lot of preparation going into all this. A lot of preparation, but the total solar eclipse will only happen for about three to four minutes in this area, and that's about how long it takes to unload a dishwasher or even read a bedtime story. But during that same amount of time in April, of next year, thousands will be looking up to the sky at that total solar eclipse. But outside of that time, safety and security is vital. The 2024 total solar eclipse. An event that first responders across the state have been preparing for for over a year. The path of the eclipse goes right through most of Region 8, which is expected to bring thousands of visitors before and during the phenomenon. I think I can safely guarantee that Greene County, Craighead County, everywhere in Region 8 that's in the path of totality will see an influx of visitors. Emergency management teams in the area are working together with FEMA to prepare plans, but it's a toss up of where the majority of people will go. People will come to Arkansas. We just don't know exactly where. Eric Wright, director of the Greene County Office of Emergency Management, has spoken with the directors that experienced the eclipse crowd in 2017. Logistically, uh, they had a lot of issues with immense amounts of traffic from Denver coming into their area, uh, things that you wouldn't normally think about. Um, there were no restrooms for people to use. In April, there are a number of factors. Weather, school is in session, and the eclipse will happen in the middle of the day. During a total solar eclipse, the sky turns dark like it would around dusk, a very different scene than a normal Monday around 2 o'clock. What are we capable of handling? What might be the uh, what might be the rise in in uh, calls or, or happenings or, uh, you know, what might be the biggest problem that we incur? In, in Craighead County, agencies are planning various ways to communicate and increase their staffing. You know, number one, making sure that our responders can communicate with one another. Uh, and sometimes that communication might have to be on a on a channel they don't normally operate on just to, to, a, to due to a higher capacity of calls. Anthony Coy, director of the Craighead County Office of Emergency Management, said every county will experience something different for this event. He is expecting traffic delays in Craighead County. It's going to vary from county to county. Uh, in Craighead County, we're, we're kind of planning, our, our planning efforts are focusing mostly on uh, traffic management. Uh, now, Coy equated the traffic to a busy Saturday in the summer and a day in December when a lot of Christmas shopping is going on. So, it's going to be busy. It is. And you've experienced the 2017 eclipse, so did I. Yes. It's definitely a cool experience. It's very cool. Just make sure you put those glasses on. Oh, yeah, definitely don't, don't look at it. We're going <laughs> to be talking about that in the coming months. Yes. Thank, thank uh -huh. you, Amani. And our investigative team is bringing you stories on preparing for this event the second Thursday of every month. It's going to happen now through April. And you can find the stories we've already done right now on the K News app or KIT8.com.